Okay, Troop, so sorry. I made the whole video of this just about an hour ago, and as I went to go then and do it, I found out as I was doing it, my storage was full and a glitch, and so yeah, so I've been running around here at West, trying to figure out the tech stuff, so I got my thing so I can record again. So I'm gonna do this, take two. Okay, so first things first, I did ahead, because I ended up with teaching you how I wanted the answer key, so I'll go ahead and start with that. So, when you're looking at your key structure directions for this, which is this front page right here, okay? As you see, it's telling you the directions, how to read dichotomous key. I've already went over that. If you went over the salamander, always start with 1A, 1B, have, have not. You're answering yes or no with the picture and what you're identifying. Two things I'm gonna do here today is I'm going to explain the terminology. Obviously, you may not know what barbels are or united dorsal fin and so on, so I'm going to clarify that in about seven minutes, okay? All right, I know my A groupers I went over to serve you for them, but my B groupers, which I'll see tomorrow, and I can answer any of those questions in person for the next couple days because this assignment is not due until Sunday, All right? Plus the other activity that I will post. If these are videos you must watch, yes, yes, you must watch. Put down Netflix, put down YouTube, put down TikToks. You have to watch them, okay? All right, so how you would answer this. So I did fishy number one here real quick by reading the key which if you're looking at it real quick, all right, the dichotomous key is number one, and I'm doing fishy number one here real quick, so looking at it, you would ask yourself first things first, scales or no scales? Well, it does not have scales because in these pictures on the first clue, 1A, 1B, any of the fish that don't have little hashy marks high and low on it, this shows you scales. Because you see this opaque, open, no marky thing, that's the only way I could show you on a two-dimensional tiny picture, no scales, no scales, no scales. Scales, see the hashy marks everywhere? Okay, so those are scales, all right? So anyway, so we're doing this one, so it is 1B. So 1B, I would put that first, and here we go. So 1B, I looked at my little key, and it says go to 12. Go down to 12, it says body, elongated like a snake or not? Well, that's definitely not a steak. Not a snake, not a steak, a snake, all right? So I go to 12B, 12B, there's the second part. 12B tells me to, not a snake, go to 13. 13, asked if I have barbels lacking or barbels not. Barbels are the whiskers. Do you see the little whisker things on the front of this fishy? No, you do not see whiskers. And I even show you, if you read the directions here or prior to this, but I tell you at least what the fins and barbels, the fleshy projections, the lips, the head looks like whiskers, okay? So this fishy does not have whiskers, so that says barbels lacking, which makes it 13B, okay? 13B then takes you to 16. 16 says caudal fin deeply forked, caudal fin squared off. This is the caudal fin, the tail fin, deeply forked. See that nice wedgie in there? That's deeply forked. This would be rounded off. That would be rounded off, but this one's not as deeply forked, so that means it's 16A, and I track out 16A, da 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 Atlantic salmon. So that's what my answer would look like. So probably like on a blank piece of paper like this, or a back sheet, I don't care. But when you're finished, you should have listed 1 to 18, the nice steps, 1A, da 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 da, whatever, and the common name, 1 to 18, and that's how I'll grade it when I start grading it at the end of this week when it's due. Okay, so we've covered that on how to fill out the answer key for that. All right, so second, now there are some terms that, other than what I've covered, that you need clarity as to what they mean. I've covered the scales, dorsal fins, okay? When you come across dorsal fins, like on 2A, 2B, single or double. This is a double dorsal fin. See how it has jagged, 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 and then changes? This is an example of two dorsal fins. This is one dorsal fin. This is one dorsal fin. This is actually one dorsal fin because notice it's all the same smooth, the same texture. But this was a tough one. Number fishy four here. Always people thought that was two dorsal fins because it was so big. It's actually one. Okay. This is one continuous one, but that's so easy. This would be two dorsal fins. Okay. So that's what a dorsal fin is. Okay as long as it is broad. What I did on the scale, I'm gonna shrink her back here just a smidge so you can see some more. As you see on your little fishies, okay? I put on there a lot, I can erase this off now because I already did the answer for you. These little scales. This was to help clear up those ones where it says five times or three times as long as it is broad. Length by height, broad. So if it says five times as long as it is broad, this one is only two times as long as it is broad because four length too high, if I reduce that down, isn't that two times as long as it's broad? So two goes into that twice, you know, simple fractions, hello, OK? 
Okay, so that was that. Um, this one, same thing. This one is four times as long as it is broad, so it's only one centimeter tall, four centimeters long, so that's four times as long as it is broad. So that's what that means, okay? All right, so that's when you're looking at the one. So a little hint too, when you see these little scales, you're probably at some point when you're identifying that fish, you're gonna have one of those questions asking you, is it long, long as, or less than, okay? So that's what this meaning by long as it is broad, tall, okay? Um, already talked about barbels, that's the whisker. I don't catfish. Um, dorsal fins, if they're double united, okay, or double separated. This, looky here, double united. See how it's one, two different fins there, and they're connected. That's a double united dorsal fin. That is a double united dorsal fin. I'll zoom in a little more. Okay, wait. This is double but separate because you can see the backbone. Those would be two dorsal fins that are separated. Okay? Those are double united. Okay? I understand the pictures are dark and small and black and white. All right? I apologize, but this is a really good dicot key exercise for you guys to really learn how to read one with freshwater fish in North America, and I really like to use it. But the best I can do with the little tiny pictures without actually having a live well and having these 18 fish swimming around in here, which I can't do that, nor can I afford that, nor do I want to do that because it would smell really bad. Okay? Oh, and by the way, if some of you haven't figured out yet, I am, I'm six years within retirement. I'm actually gonna start working on my stand-up improv stuff. So, you know, if there's times, you know, you can let me know that I actually say something that's kind of clever or so on, I can't see your face, and you're like, okay, that wasn't too bad, or no, my, that wasn't funny, or, okay, all right, that was a dad joke, you know, whatever, okay, so, all right, moving on, okay? Gotta have fun with this, right? Because what else is there to do, okay? All right, mouth, Woo. mouth, large hinge or small? So what they're talking about, I'm gonna zoom in, on the fishies where the hinge says small and in front or small and in front this would be see how it's tiny they're talking about the corner of the mouth the hinge so if i was to draw a fish mouth that's small so it would look something like this this would be an example i'm looking right here at the hinge small and in front of the mouth that's a small hinge that would be an example of a small hinge that would be an example of a small hinge. That would be an example of a hinge small and in front of the eye, okay? Example, i.e. The other one was large, I'll do it here, and even or behind. So they're talking about the hinge of the mouth is even or behind. This one would be even or behind. That's a big hinge mouth, so that's behind. Um, I'll scan down here. This one here. See how big that hinge is? There's the eye, that's big, even, or behind the eye. So that would be an example of a big or large hinge, okay? Okay, no worries, okay? Hopefully that's clear. Here's my towel to wipe these off. All right, good, moving on. Okay, um, hinge, covered that. I'm going down here, so I've done one through six. Uh, seven, A, talks about concave. What they're talking about is the top of the head. If the fish's head slopes normal like this, like that's sloping normal, See how this kind of slopes and then kind of indents down? It's subtle and small, but they're talking about if it goes and then kind of has kind of the dip a little bit. So kind of like a flat part in the front of its head. That's what it's talking about concave, okay? So like this one would be concave. We'll see how it kind of dents in there. But this one is nice and fully rounded all the way down. Okay, that's what it means by concave. That was seven A and B when talking about concave of the head, okay? Um, we already know about the body long. I explained the hinge, smart. Oh, spines, okay. So let's take fishy number, like number three. This is always a good one. Looking right here, everybody see? Good, 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 I know we're moving, okay. The spines, we're talking about these little tiny pointy things. So you take a pencil and they're talking about, so you see how the ones that are sharp, you can't tell these because they're nice and smooth, but if you count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's, you know, 10 or 11, 12 there. So on that clue, it says, five to seven or 10 or more, so either it's clear enough you can tell if you're on that clue, all right, counting the little spines. That's what it's talking about, the little spiky things on one of the dorsal fins. That would be an example of spiky things on the dorsal fin. There's some spiky things. If you had to count them, those would be spiky things. If you had to count them, so you get the picture, okay? That's the spines. All right, almost done uh, with the clues. That's 11, I've done 10, I did 11. Uh, 12 is elongated, you're fine. We already know about barbels or the whiskers on 13. Coddle fin, we know about coddle fins. This would be a deeply forked. This would be forked. This would be rounded. 
That'd be not deep, that'd be round, it'd be borderline, rounded, okay, so you know what, the caudal fin, tail fin. And that's it, oh my gosh. Okay, I went through that a lot quicker, okay. So, on this fishy dichotomous key, all right, that um, you'll have a paper copy too, B group, so I know you're watching this before, if not, you'll watch it in class, or some point between now and Sunday, you'll watch this, because you'll have a clue or an answer on what one of these features means. Um, whether you're a fisher person or not, okay? So, I'm gonna upload this one. You should've watched the salamander. That was like five minutes saw my hands with a new tripod, explaining that one the other night. No big deal, but we did that one in class together. We'll go over that in class too tomorrow, okay? Thursday, right? Just to make sure you have a paper copy so you can do that, okay? So don't worry about that. Um, and then we have the fish one, that you have plenty of time to do that. Don't stress, if you see, it said, I think, November 16th, 12.59 a.m., p.m., whatever, but midnight uh, Sunday. And then the next videos you're going to see, and I'm going to say must watch, has to do with the lab you'll be working on here. And you'll already have um, a little bit of head start, but you'll be working on it in here with me Thursday and Friday. So definitely, if there's any questions, there'll be the clarity with that. But I want to upload this so much more because my A groups... I've already went over this stuff. They can watch it again if they want, and they know what they'll be doing. So it's a flippy floppy thing. Got it? Okay, good. So this video's done. This is the fish dicot key explanation on how to do the answers, how to how I want them shown, okay? Because I know you're watching, drinking your coffee, having your lattes, whatever it is. I don't know, okay? And um, the examples of what all the terms mean about fish structures. Remember, always start with 1A and 1B, always, right? And you're just answering either this or that. It's either always going to be A or B, yes or no. Follow the clues, follow it through, can't mess it up, okay? All right, see you in a bit. Bye.